Torah time. The weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it. Hi. This week's Torah portion is called Bamidbar. And at the very beginning of the portion, we read, Su'u et rosh kol adat b'nei Yisrael. Take a head count of the entire community of the children of Israel. It's like a census. This is why in English, the book is called Numbers, because it begins and it ends with the counting of the people. In Hebrew, though, Bamidbar means in the wilderness, which accounts for the 40 years the children of Israel wandered through the desert, through the wilderness, on their way to the promised land. Now, the accuracy of the count is debatable. What's more important is the idea of moving from slavery to being a free human being, worthy of being counted and counting in the eyes of God. Rashi, who was a very famous French rabbi, he wrote the commentary on the Talmud and also on the Tanakh, our Hebrew Bible. He was able to present the basic meaning of things in a very, very easy to understand way. So Rashi said, because they were dear to God, God counted them often. You know, like when you're on a tour or a school trip and the tour guide or the school teacher counts over and over and over again? Well, that's because each person is important. Each person is special. If you're counted, then you count. You matter. And for God, every single person matters. This portion is the first portion in the book of Bamidbar. Shemot, or Exodus, began in a very different way. That book began with the mistreatment of the Israelites in Egypt, Pharaoh treating them like one big mass no individual value. So we know we count, but in Jewish tradition, it's customary not to use numbers to count people. Sometimes you'll hear someone Jewish saying, not one, not two, not three, etc. Why do we do this? We do it because we are more than just a number. We remember in our history during the Shoah, during the Holocaust. The Nazis tattooed numbers on the Jews. With numbers, they just reduced them to lines on a ledger. This is one of the reasons that we use words to count instead of numbers. Oftentimes to count, to see if there are enough people for a minion, for example, people will use verse nine from Psalm 28. Hoshia et amecha, uvorech et nachlatecha, or aim benasem ad haolam. Save your people and bless your inheritance, and tend them and elevate them forever. The Israelites being free from bondage, the Creator wants them to know that everyone counts. We are worthy. We should lift our heads because the creator of all living things believes we are unique, special, and loved. Because each of us is special and unique, and the fact that we matter makes us carry certain responsibilities, we have to make sure that we respect and care for all of God's creatures. Now, one way that we're doing this most recently is by wearing our masks so that we can stay safe from catching COVID-19 and be careful not to infect anyone else. These are ways that we count. You count. We all count and we all matter. That's our Torah time for today. Bye-bye. Torah time! The weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it.